Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how you can conduct an inquiry lesson into the Newton's gravitational law. So double click on the sim, it should look something like this. Wait for it to launch and you can maximize the screen by double clicking on the top menu bar. Now in this simulation, you can actually select M1, okay, arbitrarily set it to 1000. Now you can drag this to the center of the screen, okay, while making sure that this is actually 0, 0.00. And you can actually now use a test mass of any mass number. So for example, you can choose one kilogram and you can see that it, it appears here on the screen. So you got to drag it out from the center of the mass and you can position this at various location. You can use this feel to fine tune the position. So let's say you want it to be five meters away from M capital M1. So with this, you can actually collect a data of the force by checking on the force checkbox and you will appear the net force which is equal to negative 0 0.27 to the power of minus 8 Newton. And from here, you can actually collect a series of data to fill up in a table for you to investigate the relationship commonly known as F equal to G M M over R squared. So by changing this, let's say now you want to collect another data. So come here, change it to 4. Make sure you press enter. Okay, and then you can now take a new reading. So you can keep on doing this and collect more data using pen and paper and you can actually get a pretty nice series of data this way. Okay, you can even do the negative one, okay, and negative two and so on. So in the Google site, you will see that I suggest that you do until minus five, okay, and which you can collect all this data. So you can copy all this data that you have collected through pen and paper and you can bring it over to an Excel spreadsheet to conduct a curve fitting. Now, what's so good about open source physics is you can actually do all this via the open source physics data analysis tool. Now, how do you get to this screen is you just right click on the mouse, select element options, the plotting panel in this case, there's only one, and you select a data tools, click on the mouse. You will find that the data tool will pop up Okay, of which you can see there are many tabs. The good thing about this is I've already designed it such that you have the G. Now, because I use a test mass of one kilogram, therefore numerically the force on the particles will be numerically equal to the value of the small g. And I can actually come here and do a very nice curve fit. So I could actually double click to maximize this again. Now come to measure, or oh sorry, analyze, and select curve fit. And you can see that there's this series of curve fit that you can do. So linear doesn't fit, parabola doesn't fit, you know, and you can keep on doing it. You know that all these don't quite fit the data that has been collected. Now, so what you do is, through open source physics, it's actually possible to do a curve fit builder. Then you select new, give it a, a meaningful name so any ending will, will do so for example you want it to be 1 over x square for example okay okay and then if, if there's something wrong it will prompt you and then you can save it again so now it has been renamed to 1x2 and you can actually design it such that there's a, para, uh, a variable called a of which the expression that you want to do a curve fit will be a divided by x square Okay, and now you can close this or you can don't close it and you can now do a curve fit and you can see that now this curve actually fits pretty well and then once you click auto fit you can find that the value of A is shown and the curve which is in roughly magenta or pink correspond very well to the data set which is over here. So there are thousands of data over here that you can use to substantiate and find out whether this curve, which is in this case 6.673 divided by x squared, is indeed describing the relationship between force, because we use 
we use the force here and how is it related to the distance away from the two masses